Radical. I got some expert analysis on why the Atlanta Hawks winded up smoking the 76ers in that game seven and getting the victory and moving on to take on the Bucks. I got some expert analysis. You know what my expert analysis is? Ben Simmons sucks. He blows, he's trash, however you want to say it, Ben Simmons. The bulk of the blame for this loss lies at the feet of Ben Simmons. Supposedly, their number two star. The guy gets paid a max contract. Like, what, $30 million? You know, okay, there's some other things that didn't go quite that well for the 76ers, and some people are bringing up uh, the Doc Rivers. He doesn't have exactly the best record for closeout game sevens. All that aside, what you see here, I use as my thumbnail, is the moment a lot of people, a lot of fans, a lot of Philly fans, just the last straw for Philly fans on Ben Simmons. Now, Ben Simmons is 6'10", like almost 6'11". The guy is very tall. And you see here, he's literally right under the basket. And there's no one around him except Lil Trey Young, Lil Ice Trey. Ice Trey is about maybe 50 pounds lighter and about a foot shorter. Are you telling me that Ben Simmons was terrified of Trey Young? Okay, that's a poster. That is a playoff poster right there. And they're down by two. So he gets a dunk, he ties it. You know, and there's this thing called momentum, right? Nothing like a throwdown dunk to get your players involved. You know, tied the game on a throwdown dunk. That's what should have happened. But you know, Ben Simmons uh, seems to be afraid, seems to be scared. The second best player, well, I think you can argue that now, this may be the second biggest contract on that team. The dead weight. Actually, I, if, my, if my stats are here correct, he did not actually take a shot in the fourth quarter of the last four games. Not one single shot. Right here exposes him. Right here exposes him. Basically is a bitch. He's the closest thing to an all-star bitch you could get. A fake all-star. Currently. Can this man be fixed? Can he be fixed? Okay. I mean, the guy clearly has some talent. He's got some skill. But what good is a basketball player if the other team knows you are scared shitless to shoot the ball? Okay, the guy also not exactly doing that good from the free throw line. At one point, he was a 70% free throw shooter. He's in the 30s. So, maybe one thing is he's very afraid to hold on to the basketball because the other team is going to foul him, and he's going to go to the line. And the other teams figure out, you know what, if he's only 30% from the line, then basically, you know... <laughs> Basically, we can win the game if we just do the math and we get some easy twos or some threes, and this guy's only making one of his free throws or less than 50%. You know, one-third, making a third of his free throws and everything. What you didn't see here was the reaction from Joel Embiid, which was just utter shock. You know, it wasn't as bad as, like, that game with LeBron James and J.R. Reed and that stupid play. You know, this is not that level of stupid. But Joel Embiid's looking at that like, what's up? What the fuck's up with this? He even mentioned that. Him and Doc even mentioned him directly. You know? Maybe they didn't say what exactly what they were thinking. Like, what the fuck's up with this guy, you know? Ben Simmons is currently trash. He needs to be traded ASAP. What are you going to get back for Ben Simmons? Sure, his trade value is low. Maybe there's a team out there willing to take a risk a risk to, tr you know, try to get him back in his head. Maybe get him uh, get him some therapy. Get him something. Maybe a sports therapist or something like that. I'm sure there's a team willing to, you know, take a chance on Ben. But you're going to have to offer up some future picks. Maybe send him to Orlando or the Thunder. The Thunder just took Kimba Walker. So if you got a problem, I mean, you know, send Ben Simmons and some picks. I mean, some people are saying uh, maybe they could try to trade with Portland, maybe get back C.J. McCollum. Yeah, you know, maybe if your your plan is to try to make sure Damian Lillard, Dame Time, bolts out of there, right? Do you try to trade him for Porzingis? I don't know. I, I don't know what the move is here. But Ben Simmons, 
in my expert analysis, is the reason they lost that series. And also, let's give some credit to Trey Young and the Hawks. I think it's the first time since 94 a team without a legitimate all-star has made it to a conference finals.